This is one of the dumbest titles for a film that I have ever seen in my life. The definition of overhyped. I was very let down by this one. It was It's very overhyped by the fandom and I'm just so disappointed. The prologue is decent and the last 20 minutes are pretty epic, but everything in between is about as flat and lifeless as it gets. Lori having PTSD is an interesting concept, but it's overplayed, and the film goes far too long without showing anything significant happen. People claim this is the Scream of the Halloween franchise, and I find that insulting. The Scream is 10 times better than this movie. Michael being so unkillable is ridiculous at this point after finally understanding why he was in Halloween 6, but now this ignores that. And also knowing the next one, the ending of this is kind of ruined. But it's pretty obvious as this was planned that it wasn't Michael when she kills him or kills that person and the, with the mask and reach for Lori kindly. It's way out of character. Reading behind the scenes lets you know they tried to cover it up, but this was the plan all along given when filming started. If that had just been the ending, I would have appreciated it a lot more. It was good to see Lori back and I also appreciated the characters that tried to actually fight the teenage looking Michael in this one. God, why can't he have a good mask anymore? Good gosh. But ultimately, as I talk about this movie, my review I wrote is very short because I don't remember a lot of it. There's a lot of big actors in here and that was cool to see. It's very 90s in its approach. It's great to see Laurie Strode back. But those characters and those actors don't make a good horror movie. With Michael looking so ridiculous, there's no explanation to how he survives the crazy things he survives. How am I supposed to suspend my disbelief? That was a slow build of mystery that got progressively crazier in the original trilogy leading to a very satisfying otherworldly nature conclusion for it but here it's just not and then when you finally finally after an epic showdown get Lori to a point where she can kill the guy it's a big fake out in the next movie and it's obviously set up here to be that way i have heard the argument that no this was supposed to be the end and i mentioned earlier that if you look at the production history the halloween resurrection started filming pretty soon after this so either a couple of things happened they filmed it in such a way to include a commentary on the character, like reaching for Lori, and there was more at play there, and she kills him anyway, which states about her character. I'd, I'd like to believe that one, but it really looks like that they did it as a shock ending with planning Halloween Resurrection as the big next thing to add another supernatural element to this Michael. But it, again, filmed so soon afterwards, that's just not the case. It was a fake out all along. That's what they were going for. And it's cheap and it's dumb and it leads to one of the worst, if not the worst Halloween movie of all time. If you love this one, more power to you. Try to convince me, help me like it better. I think a lot of people just like that, this one for nostalgia. And what is with this ridiculous title? Like, come on. I give Halloween H2O, H20, 20 years later, 2.5 out of five stars. Sorry guys, it is what it is. But remember, always look for the good.